Nonito Doné versus Nordin Ubali. Will Nonito become a title holder for the ninth time, is it? Damn. And I don't even remember how many different divisions. Four, was it? Anyway, if you like the kind of work that I do here, do consider supporting my channel. Links to all of that in the description. Pinned comment. Anyway, seeing as I don't watch all that much boxing these days, I never even heard of this Ubali guy, but I went and checked him out. I read his Wikipedia page. Apparently, he had somewhat of a rivalry in the amateurs versus Zhu Shiming. Got overwhelmed in the first fight, but arguably won the second, but it was unfortunate not to get that one. Controversial, they say. So, two-time Olympian from what I understand. Uh, I think he also fought in the uh, world champs in the amateurs. So, you know, pretty good Olympian, pretty good amateur fighter. Um, now that he's in the pros, he's one of those... This seems to be a pattern these days, right? Um, Lomachenko, Josh Taylor, Ubali's another one of those guys. Guys that remain amateurs for a while, come to the pros late, and they move them along pretty quickly. And he's been pretty successful so far. He beat this guy here, Inoue. And I think his other more notable victory was Rashi Warren. So, you know, two decent B-level guys, I guess. Let me take a sip of my coffee, please. And um, having watched a little bit of him here and there, he looks pretty good. Uh, he's fast. He's mobile. He's very sudden. And he looks strong. Good lateral movement, southpaw. Uh, sometimes we'll throw these weird corkscrew up jabs. Um, comes with some weird punch angles here and there. Um, he, he looks, he looks to be pretty good. Now, <clears throat> Mr. Donaire is 38 years old, coming off. One of the hardest, if not the hardest, fight of his career where he got busted up and hurt and arguably even stopped something that's, you know, almost unheard of when it comes to, or seemingly impossible when it comes to someone like Nonito. But, you know, he was in the ring with the monster at the age of, what was it, 36 at the time or something like that, 37. So, you know, got a bit, a little bit of a benefit of the doubt. But he out outperformed the expectations in that fight. Uh, what I heard mostly was, you know, second, third, fourth. By the sixth round, no doze is going to be gone. So don't sleep. But that wasn't meant to be. He even almost, maybe not almost, but... You know, came close to stopping um, Inoue himself. Now look, if uh, what you think happened in the Canelo fight versus the Jip was cool, reasonable, excusable, um, you know, maybe that should be the, the standard, right? Broken orbital bone. <laughs> oh, by the way, wasn't there a video released and scrubbed off the net? I don't know. I, I hadn't seen it myself. Of uh, Billy Joe Saunders looking, you know, fresh as a daisy, good as new. Short week and a half or so after uh, one of the, you know, more serious injuries you could have as a boxer. What what happened there, guys? Where's 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 the injury? Anyway, maybe it's all rumors. I don't know. There was that up jab, if you saw it. Anyway, you know. I mean, if that's the standard we're accepting now, I guess, in this new pussified age of boxing, then 
It's arguable that Nonito stopped Inoue, right? And the referee gave Inoue a break and didn't stop that fight, right? I don't actually believe that myself, but, you know. I guess me asking boxing fans to be... To have some kind of standard is, um... Well... I'm, I'm deluding myself, expecting something like that, I guess. Anyway... What do I do? Let, let's let's get on with this technical breakdown. If I'm Ubali, how do I beat Donaire? Uh I tuck my fucking chin, I tell you that much. <laughs> and I faint, 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 faint. And I'm not very aggressive, at least not early. I limit my attacks. I'm very cautious attacking him. Um, I'm taking the inside angle, I'm taking the outside angle, maybe sometimes coming straight in, stepping on his toes. When I'm talking about inside-outside angle, I'm talking about foot position, right? Southpaw versus orthodox. Uh, definitely, definitely lots of fainting. Sometimes when I'm coming in, maybe I'm not even throwing punches. I'm looking to see if there's something there, right? But I'm not just opening up just to open up right and hope something lands because he will do that sometimes you know i'm being very very careful judicious giving him lots lots of lateral movement uh trying not to be predictable right if i'm choosing to take different angles on the way in i'm not establishing any sort of a pattern with my choices right I'm uh, trying to establish lead hand control. Maybe, maybe I'm just circling, 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 trying to make Nonito come forward. There's that corkscrew up jab again. Um, you know, maybe I want Nonito to come chase me after the ring and maybe after a few rounds of him doing that, getting him frustrated, then I go after him. Right. Uh, I'm not hoping for a knockout, but if it comes late, I take it. But I'm looking to just win rounds and be very, very fucking careful. Now, if I'm Nonito, I wish I could be Non. No, just kidding. Rachel, I love you. <laughs> just playing. Just playing. Just playing. Just playing. She's cool. Just fucking around. Um, if I'm Nonito, I am not. I am not getting caught chasing this dude around the ring, okay? He's got crazy motor, tons of lateral movement. Uh, I'm not going to be able to catch up with him, okay? Nonito never was a great pressure fighter. His thing was always countering the aggressor that's that's his forte um i'm not saying he can't beat this guy if he just chases him all over the damn ring but it's not gonna look good he's likely to get frustrated uh he's probably gonna get tired at this old age later on and it's just gonna look worse and worse and worse for him in my opinion not to say he can't win doing that but nah man don't do it if i'm nonito I'm sitting back, letting this guy come in. I'm literally giving up rounds. I want him to be confident. I want him to, to feel like he's got this in the bag. First, second, third, however long it takes to get a beat on this dude, I'm taking steam off my punches. I'm making them look powerful and, you know, maybe wincing, grinning, going, uh, here and there, and even though that's not really his thing, but like breathing hard, making it seem like I'm committing, throwing my punches with everything I got, but at the last second, I'm pulling them a little bit, right? I'm not putting everything on my punches. I don't want this guy to feel my power and start running, right? I want to maybe just touch him here and there, get a beat on him, right? 
try to solve them. You know, when when he's taking the outside angle, I'm caught right there. He took the inside angle, right? I'm using the hook to get at him. Or, you know, mixing it up too. Maybe using the right hand a little bit or just showing him the right hand, making him think that you're going to use the right hand. But, Generally, I would say, or when it matters, if he's taking um, the outside angle like he did right there, I'm giving him the left hook. Maybe the right cross too, right? Crossing the punch in front of my chest. If he's taking the inside angle, right hand straight down the pipe, right? But before any of that happens, I stick my jab out there. Now, Nonito's never had a really good authoritative jab. He can throw it here and there, but it seems to be easy to take that away from him. So I'm not not saying never throw your jab with, there goes that corkscrew up jab. Weird punch. Uh, Yeah, throw your jab with power sometimes if you see it there, right? Rattle your opponent, score. But don't be too concerned with winning rounds. But I um, established lead hand control. I believe Nonito's taller. He has longer arms. So keep that left hand high and stick it out sometimes and smack Ubali's lead hand down. See how Ubali is establishing lead hand control over Inoue, right? For the most part. Even though Inoue is taller and probably has longer arms. Don't let them do that. Control him with your lead hand, right? Measure the distance. Um, don't let him hit you with that crazy up jab. Smack it down. Um, try to stop that jab from even leaving the holster, right? With any any power significance. Just Just put your own lead hand in front of it and on top of it. And control him like that. That'll help you time him on the way in. It'll frustrate him. It'll take some of his feints away from him. Um, And, you know, again, let him get confident. Maybe give up some rounds. Uh, let Let him feel like you're an old man, even though you really are. Uh, don't exert yourself. And then when, when you've got a beat on him, then you knock him out, basically. Ubali is a little bit predictable because he's got this rhythm, right? Bounce, 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 and then he comes in. When he stops bouncing, that's when you know he's going to attack. If he's bouncing in range, lead with the right hand. Do that a lot, actually, right? Frustrate him. Don't really, right? You're not going to knock him out with the right hand out from the outside because he's really not going to be there. I don't think he's going to be there for that. And that's not your best punch. But frustrate him with the right hand. If you see it, just lead with the right hand straight down the pipe. As a means of also disrupting his rhythm and controlling him. And then when you disrupt his rhythm, and he'll probably try to reestablish it right away. And then when he jumps in, bam, left hook. If you can, right? If it's there. But yeah, take something off your punches early. And once you feel like you got him timed or you can time him. Guy's fast, man. Seems to have pretty good power. Uh, He's not going to be... I don't think. I I think it's unlikely that he hurts Nonito with any one punch. That's the one thing I've always... uh, Sorry we're talking about Nonito, mostly. Well, no, actually, I'm not sorry, but... That's just uh, the guy... I guess you could say I grew up uh, as a boxing fan watching. So I know a lot more about him. And the one thing I always appreciate about him is that not only can he give it, he sure as hell can take it, right? It's not often that you have a monster puncher. Don't be fooled by the KO record, okay? Uh, One of the hardest punchers you'll ever see at the lower weight divisions. But it's not often you see a guy that hits as hard as he does and then he can take him just... Just the same almost, right? 
So I don't think Ubali is going to be doing much damage with any individual shot. Maybe if he attacks the body, which is obviously something you want to do, especially against a taller, older guy. We should always do that, but that might prove to be more effective against someone like Nonito. Take some steam out of him, right? Make his punches weaker. Uh, just slow him down. Maybe, maybe he'd be able to hurt him with the body shot or something. But to the head, I, just, I have a hard time seeing any one individual punch from Ubali having much uh, impact on Nonito. So again, take something off your punches early. And once you feel like you got a beat on him, you got him timed. And he's feeling good because he's winning rounds. And then you try to knock him out, basically. Uh, trying to win rounds against this guy... Uh, probably not a good idea at this point in time because see you could catch him with the right hand on the way in um, or the left hook because this guy's got a motor um, he's very active very mobile mm, yeah that would be that would be fighting his fight in my opinion so that's that's basically it right Make your punches count. And, you know, if you crack them good and then, you know, he starts moving, running away. He doesn't want to come in anymore um, because you showed him the power and, and didn't knock him out. You might have to go after him, start, uh, you know, but, but don't get caught up chasing him. You know what I mean? Uh, try to hold the center of the ring and then just, you know, rotate. Um, try to stand in the center of the ring just facing him but not you know chasing after him going to the ropes if he's hurt and all that yeah then do that but you know let him not really beat on you but kind of you know let him get confident let him you know if, if, if he cracks you with something play possum Move to the ropes, pretend like you're affected or something like that. And then Ubali will get confident. He'll come in and he'll start hooking from mid-range inside. Perfect opportunity to catch him with the counter left hook and, and sleep him. Right? So what's my prediction? Um, well, exactly that. I think Ubali's going to be doing well. Uh, Nonito's going to look old maybe. I don't know. Ubali's going to be winning rounds, I think. And then between the fourth or sixth round, he gets caught with something. And we find out how good his chin is. And depending on how good his chin is, he wins or loses. If it's a monster chin, he wins a decision. If it's just a very, very good chin, he gets stopped. I think he gets stopped. I understand he's the favorite, and I agree with that. I think he should be the favorite, but it's up to Nonito, the experienced guy, to um, to use his experience and wit and cunning to basically be able to set this guy up. He's a little predictable on the way in. Um, Throws a one two or leads with the two, sometimes follows up with the one, but it's it's basically the same thing. He he gets kind of repetitive, the way he attacks from outside. It shouldn't be that difficult to time, especially since he has a very predictable rhythm. Um, he's techno, not jazz, right? There's the left hook. Can he take that from Nonito? I mean, can anyone? Anyway, but that's. That's a special fighter, man. And a right hand. If he catches a two-piece like that off Nonito, I'm sorry. It's uh, Gregory Isaac, night nurse. <laughs> anyway, that's my video. Um, yeah, Ubali's the favorite, and it makes sense. Nonito's on his way out. He should win this fight, but I think it's going to be 
and I am not at all confident. But I think it's going to be Nonito's last hurrah. Uh, you know, it's a significant fight for his career. Yet another title. Um, you know, he's talking retirement. Probably, if he does win, probably will retire. So, you know, let him do so on, on a good note. Wouldn't be surprised if Ubali just ran him over, basically, because no need to shot. But if there's, if he is uh, the guy he was in, in the Super Six, or the Super Series, um, he should have enough to set this guy up and knock him out in a very tough fight where it's not looking very good for him. But hopefully there's a reason for that. And Ubali gets a little overconfident, a little disrespectful, and that's how she wrote for him, alright? That's my video. Thanks for watching.